All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying put in there. Suddenly, we lost connection. We lost connection on Ground Zero, but right now, Ground Zero is able is able to to watch us live. Live as I come to you, we couldn't afford to get this message go through without reaching Ground Zero because that is who we want to reach. That is who we want to reach. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for staying put in the place. I appeal to you, please hit your share button. I have one agenda, one item agenda only for this broadcast, and I will be bringing that to you the moment we hit uh, 700 people. So please hit your share button, hit your share button, and uh, let others know that I am here live, live, live. Let me welcome all of you joining from Ground Zero, all of you joining from Ground One, that is Nigeria, all of you joining from uh, Asia, from Europe, from the USA, from South America, Canada, the UK. Thank you all for tuning in. Please go ahead, hit your share button. I consider this very, very critical message. It's a very, very critical message, and so I love you all to hit your share button and bring in others from different social media platforms like Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and all of them. Again, the message I bring to you is very, very crucial at this moment because we have received lots and lots of queries, queries, especially from Ground Zero, from Bermenda, uh, very, very worried about the indefinite lockdown that starts tomorrow. I am here to bring you a little more clarification, a little bit of clarification on what we are here to achieve and to do. And so please, let's get this message out. If you are out in the diaspora and you listen to me today, please forward this message. Call your parents, your family back home, Bamenda Nkwe, Bamenda Nkwe, Chumba, Mankon, Allah, Allah, Bokam, Allah, Allah, Botshu, all, no, all those Allah, Allah. We want to make sure the messages get into these communities in Bamenda. Again, we have made it very, very clear this lockdown is not for all of Mezam. It is for the Bamenda municipality that includes Bamenda uh, from Upstation through Nkwen through to uh chumba chumba is around going to bali then uh the mancon area uh all these all these that make up greater bamenda this is uh where the target is for the lockdown and again i am here to bring you a little more clarification from the conflicting messages that you hear out there the conflicting messages are not ladies and gentlemen coming from this interim government. Uh, you, some of you have listened to some enabling messages, enablers messages coming particularly from ADF, ADF enablers on the ground. I must call them very, very clearly so that you know uh, who is causing this confusion because uh, yesterday, yesterday, I saw a flyer bearing the name and the logo of A. Gov. C. Uh, announcing that there is no lockdown, not just indefinite, but that there is no lockdown <clears throat> in Bermenda. Uh, also today, there is an audio that some of you may have heard out there from so-called Ground Zero fighters, and these are uh, uh, boys masquerading as Ground Zero fighters Whereas there is none from the ADF on the ground. If ADF actually had some fighters on the ground, I wonder where they are at this moment when we are fighting to stop the so-called Chan, Chan in Bamenda. I have not heard that ADF fighters are up in Victoria trying to stop that match. By the moment, the only time you hear them is to step up get hide behind their phones and make these audios oh no lockdown in Bamenda the people you are suffering the people ladies and gentlemen 
all of us here at this interim government, I want to say without any pride, we are very, very intelligent people and we have no gain. We have no gain to uh, have our people suffer even for a minute, even for a minute. That is to say, anything we do here, anything, any decision, every decision we take here is meant to push this struggle, to push this struggle one step further, one step further. And so for those of, those of you on ground zero, if you listen to any message and that message isn't coming from this interim government, and I mean from this communications department and from the ANSC, Ambazonia uh, National Security Council, if, it's, if it is not coming from them, from Langmi, if it is not coming from the Secretary of State, uh, John Egiawang, if it is not coming from the uh, legitimate Ambazonia restoration fighters, especially in the case of Mezam, the restoration fighters in Mezam or in Bamenda, in Quen, or all these places, know that in, know that, that message is coming from enablers. That message must be coming from enablers. So I am here, I am here today to explain to you why we have called for an indefinite lockdown and why we all should collaborate. We all should collaborate, most especially Bamenda, where uh, uh, the event is taking place. So please, so please again continue hitting your share button. I need the maximum number, number of uh, viewers right here on Facebook. And if you are watching by television on Ground Zero, please, especially if you are in Bamenda, call somebody. Call somebody right now to tune on, to tune on to ABC to get this message. We want you to go far and near. Every home, every home in Bamenda should get this message today, tonight. And the lockdown is starting tomorrow. The lockdown is starting tomorrow. And again, I am here. I am here to allay the fears of those I have received quite a number of messages. Orders have been forwarded to me. Some have been sent to me directly from Ground Zero. And we thought it was very important that I come out here to explain to all of you in Bamenda why we do what we do and why we are declaring this indefinite, indefinite uh, lockdown. Of course, I have said from the beginning that, <clears throat> of course, we are not stupid. We cannot declare an indefinite lockdown in Bamenda. Declaring an indefinite lockdown means you cannot go out to buy food. Even if you stock your home today, it means you cannot go out in five days, in three days, in uh, a week's time to restock food in your home. We cannot do that. And so I am here to, again to bring you a little more explanation so you know exactly, you know exactly where, uh, where we are coming from. So please. Thank you for hitting your share button. I expect you continue to hit that share button. The message I bring to you is short, very, very short. After the message, I will talk to I will talk to the chairman of the ANSC, the chairman of the ANSC to tell us what Mezam. Again, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, do not forget, we are working in collaboration with Mezam County. And when we talk about Mezam County, Mezam County is also talking to the fighters, Ambazonia Restoration Fighters on the ground in Bamenda. And so when you hear that audio, that enablers audio coming from the ADF, non-existent fighters, there are masquerades who hide behind the phone and make audios pretending that they exist. Again, if they exist, they should be in Victoria now. They should be in Victoria now, stopping that chant. But the point I'm trying to make here is that we don't sit here behind our cameras and behind the walls and take decisions without consulting appropriate quarters. When we decree a lockdown, such as the one we are talking about here, 
We have worked with Mezem, and Mezem has worked with the Ambazonia fighters on the ground. We all came to agreement before taking that announcement out. And so those audios and the messages we hear purportedly coming from Ground Zero fighters, throw them to the dumb, throw them in the trash. They are not coming from your legitimate Ambazonia restoration fighters on, on Ground Zero or in Bamenda. So please take very important note of that. Again, I will bring you my monologue. And uh, after my monologue, after my monologue, I will get on the phone with the ANSC spokesperson, Comrade Langmi, who will be explaining to you, Ground Zero, what is going to happen beginning tomorrow. The enforcement, the enforcement of this lockdown uh, that begins tomorrow. So please, again, and then after, come relax me, I will open the phone lines. I would love to take calls exclusively, exclusively, either from Victoria or from Bamenda exclusively. That is when I open the phone lines. That is when I open the phone lines. So ladies and gentlemen, while you keep on sharing, hitting your share button, I will now, I will now, bring this uh, presentation them this presentation to you fellow ambazonians the interim government has received your concerns from ground zero particularly in bamenda concerns concerns about the indefinite lockdown scheduled to start on friday some of the concerns center around the fact that the lockdown, the lockdown coincides with Cardinal Parolin's Vatican visit to Bermuda this weekend. Some of you have expressed worries over the indefinite, indefinite character of the lockdown and the idea that the lockdown should have been moved to start on Monday, on Monday, our regular country Sunday day. First of all, first of all, you can rest assured we were not ignorant of the Cardinal's visit when we scheduled the lockdown for this weekend. A number of things which have happened recently informed our decision. The Roman Catholic leadership in Cameroon and in our territory, Ambazonia, the Southern Cameroons, they have continued to make a shift away, a shift away from the true message of the humanitarian catastrophe that obtains on the ground and the human rights abuses that French Cameroon soldiers occupying our country continue on a daily basis to inflict on our people. The other day, for instance, Cardinal told me the highest ranking Catholic, Catholic priest in Cameroon told Cameroon television without blinking that Ambazonia restoration forces have stopped fighting. They have all surrendered. In fact, he said, those still fighting are from Nigeria, Ebos, Ebos, or better still Biafrans who have crossed over. He also stated that Paul Bia's Grand National Dialogue was such a great initiative and that only those who didn't attend it are still criticizing it today. Cardinal Toomey makes this statement in spite of the fact that every Southern Cameroonian and powers within the international community are all agreed, they are all agreed, that a grand national dialogue was a farce, a fraud, a sham, and a window dressing exercise. Cardinal Tobi actually praised colonial president Paul Beer, stating that Paul Beer has indeed done his best, done his best to resolve the conflict. For the majority of you who live on the ground at the war front, do you indeed agree with these statements 
of Karina Tumi? Is it indeed true that mostly Nigerians are left fighting for us? Is it true that the Grand National Dialogue was well conceived and well managed? Is it indeed the case that Paul Beer has done his best or is doing his best to resolve the conflict? If indeed it is true, why is it that the whole world is still begging upon him to declare just a ceasefire? To stop killing our people and to get the, and to get to the negotiation table. Why is she still keeping thousands, thousands of our people incarcerated in prisons all over that country? Kadina Tubi knows the truth. It is either that he is compromised or all age has taken a toll, a toll on him to the effect that he no longer has the capability to speak candidly. We all are aware, ladies and gentlemen, that there is no single day that passes by without our people gone down, whether it be in Bamenda or in Boya. Who can just so quickly forget the case of the four teenagers gone down, gone down a few days ago in Meta Quarter, Bamenda? and the Mautu incident. How can our bishop just so soon want us to forget about it? There is no passing day in Ambazonia in which property isn't decimated or burned down, be it in Boya or Bamenda, by French Cameroon occupying soldiers. In spite of this, the Cameroon Episcopal Bishops Conference is not known to have ever ever taken to the condemnation of all these killings and abuses on powerless, powerless Ambazonians. They have never. Therefore, when we have an important guest, like the Cardinal, visiting from the Vatican, we do not want anyone else to tell our story for us. We want to do it by ourselves. We are very concerned that should Ambazonians not deliver their message, their own way, to the visiting Cardinal, the wrong people, and I mean people like Cardinal Tumi and Archbishop Andrew K, they will deliver a message that doesn't reflect exactly, exactly what we see on the ground. Cardinal Tumi and the generality of the Catholic Episcopal Conference back home, they are incapable, incapable of benevolent allies who can deliver a message that reflects on the reality, the real situation on the ground. When Bishop Andrew in K was Bishop of Manfe, he stood on the side of the people and spoke truth to authority and power in Yawunde. But it wasn't long after he was moved to Bamenda that he began speaking the language of the oppressor, the same language with the oppressor, the language of peace, peace, peace without justice. And like Canada told me, he has since personally embarked on a kind of evangelization that aims at getting our restoration fighters to surrender, to leave the struggle, and to leave the Southern Cameroons yoked continuously on their slavery. We la Republic do Cameroon, talking about one Cameroon. Cardinal Parolin is not visiting Bamenda as a religious figure only. We shouldn't forget he is also the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Foreign Relations for the Vatican. He is known to be the middle, to be in the middle of peace initiatives in other conflict areas like in Israel and South America. He is visiting Bamenda as a priest, but equally as a politician and as a diplomat. This is the reason why if he must leave Ambazonia with a message, it should be our message. And we must carry the message to him directly by ourselves, and not through the proxy of Catholic leaders who don't have the fortitude 
to speak for the oppressed. And how do we deliver the message? We will deliver it loudest by staying home and by deserting the streets of Bamenda. If you are a Catholic, please, this is the moment you send a direct message to the Vatican. And you will send that message by staying home, praying at home this weekend, and choosing lockdown over going out. We should not forget, CROTV will descend on Bamenda with the rest of the media world to want to beam footages, footages from Bamenda to the rest of the world. And Lada Papli du Cameroon is waiting to salivate over those images, which they hope will tell the story of the will tell the story to the world that truly all is well, that nothing is going on in Bamenda as war. Well. They are hoping that people, people will be mobilized into Bamenda from Kumbo, from Kambe, Indob, Mbengwe, Wum, Fundong. You can name the rest. Dancing groups will line the streets from T Junction and from Ayaba Hotel all the way to the big Mancon Cathedral, where other thousands should be waiting to herald the Vatican guests. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians, listen to me. On the behalf of this interim government, I am asking all of you, all of you, is this really the message that we want Cardinal Perolin to take back to Yaoundé and to the Vatican? That everything, everything is okay. That peace reigns in Bamenda and in Ambazonia. We cannot rely on Cardinal Tumi and Archbishop Andrew and Kay. We cannot have them pass any uncertain message on our behalf to the Vatican. If we shut our doors and observe the lockdown beginning this Friday, we would have delivered our own message, our own message by ourselves and the visitor would have bore testimony by himself and with his own eyes. The Catholic and political leaders in Cameroon would have been successfully stopped or barred from manipulating the gays. Again, Bamenda lockdown starts this Friday. Saturday and Sunday, this Saturday and Sunday will remain locked down also. Monday will remain our regular country Sunday day. We have been given information that some of the shops that were sealed have been unsealed. With the exception, with the exception of those in the Bamenda main market and the restrictions inflicted on Okada riders. We have not been able as of the moment to verify that shops allegedly unsealed are indeed unsealed. However, however, between now and Monday, we would have established whether or not all the shops, all the shops have been unsealed. When all are verified to be open, with the restrictions on Okada movements lifted, the moment that information reaches us, we will take a new look at the indefinite element of this lockdown. One last thing, ladies and gentlemen, one thing, one thing that will bring us victory over La Republic du Cameroon and maybe, maybe shorten the length of this war is when we are seen to be continuously standing up for one another. Standing up for one another is such strength, such strength that cannot be beaten. When traders in Kumba, for example, were confronted with the same scenario, the same scenario, the ceiling of shops as we see in Bamenda today, all Kumba traders decided that an attack on one of them was an attack on all. And they all decided to shut down their shops to send a message and a warning to the colonial officers or officials in Kumba. One shop, 
and I mean one shop, should not remain sealed in Bamenda while the rest do business as usual. It should not happen. An attack on any trader or shop should mean an attack on all shop owners. And if it will take a lockdown like this one to get the situation rectified, let us all have it happen. Lockdown begins on Friday once more. You will hear again from the interim government on Monday on the way forward. Let's remain strong, very, very strong and resilient. We are getting there and we will indeed, we will indeed get there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was my monologue. That was the message. I want to believe that each and every one of you out there in Bamenda gets the message. This is not uh, inflicting any pain, any pain more than you can, more than you have already, already received upon you. We are strat strategically doing everything here to make sure that it pushes the struggle. It pushes the struggle. Now, I am joined with uh, Comrade uh, Langmi. Comrade Langmi is the spokesperson for the Ambazonia Restoration Forces or the ANSC, Ambazonia National Security Council. Uh, Comrade uh, Langmi, uh, good afternoon, sir. I hope you can hear me. Good afternoon, Secretary Chris. All right, thank you. Uh, this morning I got up with an audio. In fact, somebody called uh, that audio to my attention and said, I listened to that audio. They are pretentiously telling the public, these are Ambazonia restoration fighters on ground zero precisely in Bamenda. Uh, I have found out those that audio wasn't even made from ground zero. It was made here in the diaspora and they were pretending to be Ambazonia fighters who have taken a decision to the effect that, oh, no lockdown, no lockdown in Bamenda. Tell us what you know, and you are the spokesperson for all of those fighters on ground zero. What is the plan, and what do you know? Thank you, Secretary Chris, for having me on board. Good afternoon, fellow Ambazonians. Let me re-emphasize here. Lockdown begins tomorrow, 29 January 2021, in Bamunan Kwe, Mankon Bachumba, Kwe Nza. The audio, the presume, the audio you are talking about is coming from someone here in the diaspora who is planning to travel back home, to travel to visit Amazonia Grand Zero. And he is making that audio not for the interest of Ambazonia, but for the his own interest. We are trying to figure out who is who in particular made that audio. But I want to assure every living citizen in Bamundanque, Mankon Bachomba, when the lockdown begins tomorrow, and if you are daring our orders. You are daring death. We mean business. At the beginning of the year, we have made it abundantly clear to the fake, illegal, land public to Cameroon administrators that we control the land. And if they violate any order from this interim government, we will make sure we pursue them to the gate of hell. So, let every Ambazonia understand that this is not a plan to punish the people. It is a strategic plan to take our revolution to the finish line. Now, uh, you are also in touch with the restoration forces right there in Bamenda. They have, uh, are they ready for the enforcement of this lockdown? They are very, very much prepared for this lockdown. Like I said, we have made a lot of mistakes from the past. I mean, citizens of Amazonia, some of them, especially those influenced by La Republic to Cameroon, they have made a lot of mistakes. From this 2021, 
there is no room for mistake. Go out tomorrow at your own highest risk. We are asking the, the fake authority of La Republic of Cameroon to unseal all the shops in Bamenda with no preconditions. We are asking them to uplift the movement, the, the no movement within the city local government, city location that I've just mentioned. The no movement limitation they have imposed on bikers must be uplifted with no condition attached to it. Oh. Anything short of that, the lockdown will continue indefinitely. All right. Uh now, we have learned that a number of shops have already been unsealed, uh, precisely at Inquin. We are told that shops in Bamenda main market are still sealed. What do you know? Well, as usual, La Republic goes around collecting money, extorting money from civilians, from businessmen and women. Uh, with the condition that if they give that money, their shops will be uh, on sale. We know some few people gave money to the uh, city council mayor and some of the shops have been on sale. We are asking that city council mayor, he has no authority over the people of Bamunankwe, Mankon, Bachumba, Kwenza, and all over Mezam County. So, so uh, ho ho hold on, hold on there. Uh, let me get this right. Are you saying, are you telling me that the shops that have been un unsealed, they are unsealed only because the owners went to the city, the colonial mayor, and paid some money, not because the mayor was responding to pressure from the people? That is exactly what is going on. The mayor is playing a hanky-panky game here, Secretary Chris. They are deceiving the people that they have control over them, but they go around extorting money from people with a pretext that their shops will be open. Secondly, we know from, uh, from the office of the city council mayor that it is out of the pressure of this interim government that they are uh, trying to unseal, uh, unseal those shops. We are telling that office, that fake office in Bamenda, there is no precondition to, to be attached to these conditions. These shops must be unsealed. Those shops must be unsealed. Anything short of that, the lockdown will, come, will begin tomorrow and it will go indefinitely until the shops are unsealed. Now, have you uh, learned of uh, anything, any changes uh, on the injunctions passed on uh, Okada riders in the city of Bamenda and the illegal toll gates that they are erecting in the city of Bamenda. And I learned that uh, to go through that those tolls, you have to pay 3,000 francs. An Okada machine would have to pay 3,000 francs to go through those illegally erected toll gates. Have you learned they have removed them? They are still there or not? We all know what La Republic stands for. Theory, corruption, and everything that you can describe them with. They have erected all those checkpoints to extort money from our people. And one of the conditions is for them to stop extorting money from our people. Uh, nothing has been done in that regard. Uh, we have asked all Okada riders all business owner in Bamenda town <coughs> in Mezam County and elsewhere in Amazonia not to give any dime, any money to these criminals. They are all criminals. They are extorting money from our people for no good reason. No one should give any dime to these criminals from Yamundi. Now, uh, let's get to the, uh, the indefinite element in this lockdown. Uh, People, we need food. People, we need water. So, uh, locking down tomorrow, Friday, through, uh, through going down uh, the, the going through the new week. Uh, what are the days? People, uh, things, uh, shops would be open for people to go out to uh, buy more food for their homes. The Mezam Defense Council will. Have a meeting with the Amazonian National Self Defense Council 
and we will come out with an OTO on directives on what to do subsequently. So uh, lockdown starts again tomorrow. Uh, it stays on Saturday, stays on Sunday, stays on Monday. Uh, are the restoration forces ready in Mezam to enforce this? Very fully ready. Okay. Any other message you would like to pass to Ground Zero? Well, this lockdown is for the three uh, localities that I've just mentioned. Right. Bamukunangwe, Mankon, Bachumba, Kwenza, and Mondays. <clears throat> I want to make this abundantly clear to the people of Ambazonia. We have imposed this lockdown to these three local government areas. But Monday, our usual Monday's lockdown must be observed nationwide without any, any, any violation. Because 2021 is a different year. We are going to make sure before the end of this year, our people are free living in their various locality without any interference from the Republic of Cameroon terrorists. So the population must collaborate with the Ambazonian Restoration Forces to get this done. We are not going to give any room for anyone to mess around with this interim government. We have played around enough with the Republic of Cameroon. I think this is 2021. It's a very decisive year, and everyone must play that game right. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you, comrade, for picking the call and uh, giving this explanation to Ground Zero. I want to hope that uh, Ground Zero now understands where we are coming from. Thank you for the call, sir. It's my pleasure. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, again, I hope that those of you watching from Bermenda, you understand where we are coming from and what we want to achieve. We would not want La Republique du Cameroon to continue to take us for a ride. They believe if they shut down your shops, lock down your shops, you become desperate, you go and cough out 100,000, 50,000, 200,000 to them from nowhere and they are not in the position to render account of those funds to anybody and so it is very very important that we stand we are seen as standing as one if a single shop is shut down in Bamenda or in any way in Ambazonia let there be that solidarity from other shop owners. I hear some people saying, oh, don't you know, uh, people need to eat, people need to, need to feed. Yes, people, everybody needs to feed. But how about those whose shops have been shut down? Don't they have to feed also? They too have to feed. Let's help them to feed. Tomorrow it may be your turn. They too will help you to feed. So please, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking forward to a successful lockdown tomorrow Friday, uh, t uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Ghost Town. I will be back with you on Monday with uh, updates on the, the way forward. So please, we expect to see everywhere, everywhere, shutdown in Bamenda. And again, it is very, very important that we do this. Uh, also for the visit of the Cardinal, Coming into Bamenda, coming into Bamenda, I have been told this morning that he will arrive Bamenda by helicopter. Of course, there are no roads to Bamenda, so they can't afford him. See those roads from Bunda, from Bunda. The moment he leaves, the moment he is out of La Republic du Cameroon, enter the territory of Ambazonia from Bunda, they won't allow him to see the nature of the roads leading from La Republic du Cameroon into Baminda because the roads do not exist. So they are trying to cover it from him. So, and he will drop in Baminda by helicopter, I think it's either that Friday or Saturday, he will leave back for Yawunde the same day, the same day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why this is very, very important. They, are, they will do everything to shield him 
to shield him from seeing from seeing that Baminda is not a city like any other city. They will shoot him away from seeing that this is a war zone. But this is what we have to do. As I have stated in my monologue, just imagine if we were in normal times, they would bring in dance group from everywhere around all of the Savannah zone. They will bring them from Dob, they will bring them from Kumbo, they will bring them from, uh, from, from Jakiri from Wum, from Batibo, from uh, uh, Widekum, from Bengui, everywhere, everywhere in that territory, they will line up, even from hospital roundabout, all the way to that cathedral at the Big Mancon. They will line up from the other junction, maybe Ayaba Hotel, all the way to Big Mancon Cathedral. So, the cardinal can go back to the Vatican and say, they said there is war in that place, I didn't see any war. I didn't see any war. That is what they would love him, the message they would love him to go with. But ladies and gentlemen, if we stay home, there is no way, there is no way any other message can be given to the cardinal as he goes back to the Vatican because he must have seen it by himself. He must have seen it by himself. So please, if you are a Catholic, stay home on Sunday. Pray at home just for this Sunday. Let us send that message, a very strong one, by no other one else, but by ourselves. Now, I will open the phone lines, and uh, I like to hear from people up in uh, Bamenda. If you are in Bamenda, please, I will open the phone lines. But make sure that before you call, before you call, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that your television set, the volume of your TV set is shut down. Before you call, make sure that the volume of your TV set is shut down. So please go ahead and uh, make your call. Go ahead and make your call. Go ahead, make your call. I will open the phone lines. I hope that there is enough clarification, enough clarification uh, to this uh, subject of indefinite lockdown. I'd like to hear from you in Bamenda. And if you are in Victoria and you would like to hear from us, I will also appreciate that. All right, let me see who the first caller is. I hope this is from, hello. All right, I was expecting calls uh, for uh, Ground Zero, Baminda, Victoria in particular, but let me take your call since you're the first caller. Uh, what is in your mind, Thank sir? You much, sir? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I just want to appreciate uh, all the information. It's well cleared, and uh, I will also send it to my family in Baminda. And those maybe who are not watching the event now, so I will also send them a WhatsApp information so that you follow this instruction very strictly. Then, uh, again, I want to beg the people of Ambazuna listening to us, let those who have drafted and they have not finished their draft, this is the time. Because our fighters, they are there. They need this draft to do what we are expecting from them. So we should not just be watching and we are clapping and we are pressing love sign without sacrificing financially in particular for those people who are giving their life for this independence. Most of us, we are out here in the Western world, these people will also sacrifice before we are enjoying their country today. So this is a time for us to also put our hands in our pocket, most of us in diaspora. So that is my message. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the call. Please let me get to uh, ground zero. I see the call, the phone's ringing. All right. Hello. Hello. Please, before you call, before you call, make sure that the volume of your TV is turned down. Before you call, make sure that the volume of your television set is turned down. Okay, let me see who else is here. Hello? Hello? Hello. Good evening, Secretary 
Yes. Good evening, sir. May I know where you are calling from, please? I'm calling from ground zero, uh, precisely from Bamenda. Okay, thank you for the call. What is in your mind? Quickly, so we can take other callers, please. Yes, I want to thank uh, the interim government for the foresight. I think that um, uh, these plans you people are having is the best. Thank you. Uh, what beats my imagination is the most revered and respected Cardinal Tumi, uh, who suddenly uh, changed his mind because I don't recognize him anymore. But I want to say that uh, the people of Ambazonia are bent on seeing that they get their freedom. And I think that that's the most important thing. And I think that um, uh, uh, with the Cardinal coming, I think the best message is to empty the streets because he will see it for himself. And I think that anybody who says anything less than that uh, is not conscious of what it has stake. I believe that uh, uh, God is on the side of Ambazonia. And that is why things are working the way they are. Once again, I say God bless you people, strength people, I continue to give you people wisdom and knowledge. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your understanding. I hope that everybody on Ground Zero understand uh, just as you do and uh, uh, respect the lockdown. Let me see who else is on the line. Hello. Hello. That is a bad connection, bad internet connection, I guess. Let me see this other caller. Hello. 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 All right, that is again another bad connection. Let's see who is on the line. We don't take video calls here, we take regular callers. So you do not call, uh, you do not uh, call with video. Call, regular call, please. Regular call. Okay, let me see who is here. Again, this, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello, Dr. Chris, good evening. Good evening, sir. May I know where you are calling from, please? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Hello, Dr. Chris, can you get me? Yes, sir, I can get you. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from... Sir, I can hear you. You are breaking up. Okay, that's a bad connection there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to the next caller here. Hello. Hello. Stay bad connection again. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that when the other end is having a bad connection. All right, let me get this one. Hello. 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 Secretary Chris, good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, may I know where you are calling from, please? Good evening, sir. Thank you. Yes, I'm hearing you. Where are you calling from? Uh, Hello? From Gabon, Secretary Chris. Good evening, sir. Okay, good evening. Calling from Gabon. All right, thank you for, for the call. What is in your mind? Yes, Daddy, I just want to congratulate you, dear. You are very, very fantastic for what you are doing for the Amazonians. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, Daddy, I just want to say you have said it all. That the lockdown, let the, all the inhabitants of Bamela should respect the lockdown. All right. Thank you. I appreciate your call. Are you a refugee or what? Yes, Daddy. Are you a refugee in Gabon or what? Yes, Daddy. Okay. Well, thank you for the call. You guys remain safe over there. 
All right, from Gabon, let me see about this caller here. Hello. Bad connection still. Lots and lots of bad connections today. Hello. Almost every call is a bad connection. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Good evening, Chris. Good evening, sir. Can you raise your voice a little bit, please? I can barely hear you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm calling from Bamenda, Northern Zone. Okay. Thank you for the call. Can you what? Hear me? Yes, I can hear you five on five now. What is <laughs> your mind? What is going on in Bamenda? I want to thank you very much on behalf of the many people in Bamenda for this timely presentation because there was a lot of con confusion and controversy in the town today and instigated by those enablers uh, to bring confusion about the program the the lockdown program right. so thank you very much for this timely presentation yes it is very timely very very timely thank you i hope i hope the people on the ground know that uh we are not trying to add pain on them correct no, they understand, they understand, especially the, the, the fact that those uh, bike riders have been restricted from accessing certain parts of the town. The people are very angry about it because it is affecting everybody. And there's the fact that those kleptomaniac, kleptomaniacal soldiers and so on are extorting money from the people. Yeah, people are very, very angry about that. And they want to see it come to an end. So Now, we very, understand very, very they are collecting $3,000. $3,000 inside the city uh, for any Okada driver that rides by uh, those toll gates. Uh, where are those toll gates located precisely inside Bamenda? Uh, first of all, they are not collecting 3,000 francs, 300 francs. Oh, 300 francs. Yes, but there are so many bike riders that at the end of the day, they come out with a lot of money. Those targets are located in uh, along those areas that uh, near those areas that have been restricted, like the like the food market, yeah, the food market, and Tarincon, those areas. That are, yes, and then Quen, those areas near those areas that have been re re restricted. That access has been restricted to. Okay. Uh, precisely. Okay. Yeah, so it is 300 francs, not 3,000 francs. All right, 300 francs, so, not 3,000 francs. Thank you for that correction. Yes, sir. So, yes, with this clarification, I'm very sure that the lockdown is going to be very, very effective. Because, come to think of it, sir, how many people have we lost? We, we, we believe in pain and humiliation. Right. Humiliation that primitive, primitive prehistoric animals have invaded our towns and are humiliating us, taking away the, our dignity and our right to live. Right, right. You know what is happening about that? Yes. So people are, we are ready, we are determined, and uh, let it go, let it let this message go to anybody who thinks that we will only with those people one day that they are living in a dream. It will never happen. It will never happen. This world will rather come to an end than that. Amazonas leaf again with this angle. It will not happen. Yet on no occasion. So we are ready. We will go to the end of this. Not not long, and there's not a question of being many years to come. We are we are determined to take it to the end as fast as possible. Yeah, we, there are some there, there, there are little discrepancies, error, but at the end of the day, all Amazonians are one. Yeah, we are sick and tired of these demons because that's what they are demons, and we will not take it from them. Yes. All right, and so, yes, I I, I, I preach to you that before, before you end the program, I appeal particularly to Catholics, to Catholics, to keep from the churches on Sunday. I appeal to them to make their voice heard about what we are going through. Because, for example, today I heard some of them discussing excitedly that on Sunday they will take communion from that man. I, 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 it was very pathetic to me. It was very pathetic. Yeah. To, to, uh, before any any problem, if you if you are uh, into indulgent, tell them not tell them to make their voices <coughs> one or the other about what we are going through. Uh, they stand in the best position to do to do that. All uh, right. So, so thank you. Very much. Uh, yes. All right. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the call. And you are right. Uh, our Catholics 
our Catholic brothers and sisters should know. They say that in life, an opportunity, an opportunity comes but once, only once. Uh, Cardinal Pietro Parolin visiting Baminda uh, this weekend. We all be there once. It's a once in life opportunity. And he is a peace negotiator, a mediator known across the world. If we want him to go back to the Cardinal, I mean to the Vatican, that there is nothing happening in Baminda, no war in Baminda, uh, well, we will be the losers. We will be the losers. Taking communion from him doesn't make you a different, any, any more different from somebody who doesn't take it. So please, I just really hope that you will heed to this message, send a message to the Roman Catholic Church that has said nothing, nothing ever since they started killing our people. The church, the Catholic hierarchy, has not as much as condemned, condemned all the killings. They happen in Mawutu. You don't hear them say anything. They happen in Garibu. You don't hear them say anything. PSS Mancon is burnt down on two conservative days. You don't hear them say anything. And they want you to pour out in your numbers so they can tell their cardinal visiting that there is no problem in Bamenda. You see, the people all are here. Everybody is here. Please, <clears throat> let's send a message, and you will send that message by staying home on Sunday, worshiping on Sunday. Do you know you can actually take your own communion at home? You can bless it. You can bless it. It is by faith. You bless it by faith, and you take it, and you consume it, and that, and that would have mean the same thing as as if you were in the church. All right, let me take these other callers who are calling in here. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. May I know where you are calling in from, please? Yes. Yes, I'm calling from the Northern Zoom. Okay. Yes, sir. What is in your mind? Yes, I have something very important to make you understand and the rest of the Amazonian people. All right, go you on, know, please. This, from, there's this guy from Vatican is coming for a special mission. His mission is that he's coming to bless the land. They tend to believe that there are some mysterious powers that are manifesting in our in our Anglophone or Amazonian land. They can't get rid of us, they think. This man from Vatican is coming to bless the land so that our power should die down. So that the military in the army should capture us. I will tell you something. You know, Mr. Bia one time brought uh, the Pope in Cameroon, I think it's twice. Came and blessed Cameroon. So this man is on a mission. Just like the Grandmaster that came the other time. But I will assure you, if he reaches Bavena, go back to Vatican, I beg you... <coughs> He will not leave because God is with us and God is monitoring what is happening in our Amazonian land. The blood that Mr. Bia is sharing every day, Vatican says nothing. People killed, prophet killed, uh, bishops killed, right. missionary killed, Vatican stay mute. This is to tell you that he is not coming for anything other than that. He's coming to bless the land, to give advantage to Mr. Bia to win the war because they tend to believe that there are some mysterious powers we are using on the ground to defeat these soldiers. So that is the purpose of which is coming. Now, how is the mood in Bamenda? What I hope that the message I brought out today uh, uh, is uh, making people to rethink uh, about this lockdown and this visit. Yeah. yeah. No, people were very skeptic skeptical today. I learned uh, at my job site from a, a colleague of mine that uh, the ghost that they, they have annulled it. The reason being that uh, they have opened the, the shop that they were locked down. So, but now when I go to the house, I open the TV, 
We don't want, uh, you know, we don't want anybody stepping out tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. Monday, I will be back here uh, with updates uh, as to how we move on. Yeah. So we want this message yeah. to be very, very clear to everybody out there. Stay home tomorrow. Now, you take your car out there and it gets uh, bulleted either from the Ambazonia forces or French Cameroon forces. Do not say, of course, that you were not informed. We are trying to make sure everybody gets this message. All right, thank you for the call, sir. Thank you, thank you. All right, let me uh, get to other callers. Lots of calls coming in here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me see who is this. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Good evening, 60 Chris. Good evening, sir. Where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from the northern zone, precisely. Precisely where? Sir, okay. you have you have a bad connection. You have a network issue, so try to change your network. Hello. Hello, but this is another bad connection. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I believe you all got the message and uh, nothing else I can add. And uh, before I leave, I would like to thank uh, the Restoration Forces in Victoria for a marvelous job. A marvelous job in Victoria. The Chan games are not over. They continue because I understand they have the quarterfinals and the semifinals planned for uh, Victoria. We must continue our effort to make sure that uh, we deprive them. Okay, let me see who is calling here. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kumbu. Okay, and what is your message? Okay, Secretary Chris, I will try to speak in uh, Pigeon. That now is okay. Is... Yeah. Okay, I call for Kumbu. I did for Kikai Kelaki, for Kona Kadinatume, the compound. Okay. So. Wait till I want to talk about Kadina to me, the only thing they already talk, that part on hold. And where Secretary Chris now tell you something, time where Kadina to me, it might maybe die. They be fixed route from, um, from BBS to their compound. Kadina to me get right for, for BI government, where if he does it, they put even Gugutong from Bamenda to his house. And Kadina to me will not do that. Because that bad day, so it not be banzo man for the way we don't see it. Not be so banzo for them to ever ask. So you can do that to me, not be banzo man? It not be banzo man. If not be banzo man, if it comes, she don't for TV. They talk that thing where they talk. We know how we banzo people, them don't lose people, them for BI government. Since time where they be just start this thing, now start them. Kill or be die when na be a die na dem kill em. We get plenty people them where they don't die when na dem kill em. Be cutting at too many support the government. Say don't gain weight for inside the government. So that part is on a balloon man we go don't move and give em for bands of people for them. All so right. So we pray God say I will not pull. May do live we. No we fight we fight because he no we fight for ourselves. May we we fight we are fight. Take we are independent. 
Made the panel come begin put doti san san for inside we are carry. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the call. You guys remain safe out there, okay? Uh, thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Who is next here? Let me see. This guy is not having a good connection. Hello, sir. Hello. You don't have a good connection, sir. I can barely hear you. Yeah, good evening, Secretary. Okay, that's a little better. Good evening, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Grand Zero, precisely in Bameda, Beza Zone. Okay, what is in your mind? Uh, Secretary, thank you very much for letting me to talk to you, to, the, to, to you people on the studio. Afternoon there. Thank you. So, yeah, so uh, I want to talk uh, specific on what uh, people are talking about the uh, harassing of people, the motorbikes in, in Bamenda. Uh, this, um, uh, poli uh, this police people, this um, La Republic, they are police people are lying between in Sarkon. There's one checkpoint in entering behind Che around the entrance of um, uh, Blazaris to Bianche, and there's another descending going down to the fish pond here around the bridge. Then around the bridge, crossing the bridge to the market, there's another checkpoint there. Okay. And around the hospital also, there's one checkpoint there. And, and, there's and, there's uh, and, those, there. and those are the locations they are uh, extorting, extorting from, uh, from road users, correct? Okay. And they are using a pen, a bow marker, red and green. They are marking on uh, on bicycle on Okada's rider's bike in front and signing signature before they take money from them. Now, when they collect that money, they, they're collecting this money on a daily basis, correct? <clears throat> yes, on a daily basis. Do they do they Every do they bike do the bikers ask for any receipt? I think uh, I will speak to the bikers. If you are out there listening to me and you get to any of those, those checkpoints and <clears throat> they are asking money from you, I think you should ask them for a receipt. Ask them for a receipt. Then you will know whether what they are doing is legitimate. Of course, we know it's not legitimate. It's illegal. But uh, to shame them, ask for a receipt. Demand a receipt. Okay? All right, thank you for the call. Thank you for the call. Let me get to all our callers here. <clears throat> okay. Hello. Hello. This is about network connection. Okay. Let me see. Hello. Hello, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from I'm calling from Ground Zero, Northern Zone. No, we don't Hello. call it Northern Zone anymore. It's Savannah, Savannah. All right. Uh, where Good. precisely, sir? Uh, from um, within the Bachongwa area. Okay. What message do you have? Please lower the volume of your TV. Lower the volume of your TV. I can hear my voice in the background. Okay. All right. Let me let 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 that is done. All right. Go ahead quickly, quickly, so we can get other callers. Yes. So this is this is what is happening. Is what is happening is that the the the, the foreign government that we have on our land. Again, before you call the line, make sure that your television is your, that your television volume is turned down. Hello. Hello. That's a bad connection there. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will call it a day here. Uh, can't take any other calls. I will call it a day. I will call it a day. I want to believe the message has gotten across. Tomorrow, lockdown. Saturday, lockdown. Sunday, lockdown. Monday, ghost town. And we will be back with you on Monday for updates for the way forward. And once more, remember, this is about Bamindamkwe, through Nkwen, through to uh, Chomba, and all of Baminda Metro, Baminda Metro. This is where the lockdown is taking place. Sunday, everybody stays home. On Sunday, you step out with your car and you come back bullet reading. Again, please do not say you were not one. Thank you. Thank you for staying tuned. And uh, I look forward to coming back to you on Monday. Good night. God bless you all.